And joining me now, Chairman of the American Conservative Union, Matt Slap, and former Dallas Fed advisor, Danielle DeMartino Booth. She's the author of Fed Up, an insider's take on why the Federal Reserve is bad for America. Great to have you both here. And let's start with uh, this, this extraordinary uh, budget uh, put forward by the budget director today. Uh, the Trump budget is $4.1 trillion and has a 10-year uh, well, a plan of balancing the budget. What do you think? Goes after quite a few sacred cows, and good for them. It's about time. I mean, it, it actually reminded me a little bit of Clinton, of all people, because it was kind of his idea to get people to where they could pick themselves up. Right. and get off of the social safety net. I was particularly welfare pleased reform. that he went after... A lot of people forget yeah. the welfare reform authored in uh, the Clinton administration. Right. I, I was particularly pleased that he's going after disability. You know, the fastest growing area of disability is back pain. Well, it's, can't it, it, also that. it was considered sort of the Ob Obama slush fund. Uh, uh, of course. For, for, uh, Matt, your, your reaction to the budget? Yeah, you know, what's interesting about when you try social, socialism like we did under President Obama, all the poverty statistics got much, much worse. And many of the government programs uh, were weighted down with that extra spending. And if we could actually get the economy moving and get people back to work and make it Americans feel better and uh, have higher take-home pay, I think a lot of our, uh, at least some of these budgetary problems will be solved. And I give Mick Mulvaney and the president a lot of credit for taking on all the tough uh, questions. And you know what? Here's a real basic question. Is the government too big and does it do too much? I think most Americans think it does. It was a rhetorical. Yeah, it, <laughs> right. It, it is also, you think of all of those ads that the federal government uh, spent money on, uh, inviting everyone to get, jump on to disability, to jump on to food stamps. And, and we're watching those numbers just fall uh, like a rock. Uh, it's so dramatic already, and we're four months into this presidency, sure. and it, it is truly it's gr it's uh, great news. Uh, it's inspiring. Uh, your sense of the economy itself? Well, I think we're still uh, stuttering about. I, I'm hoping that the Atlanta Fed's prediction that the second quarter GDP looks to be somewhere in the 4% range, I hope they're right. Uh, we got some encouraging news out of the service sector as well, which is where the majority of jobs are in this country in the first place, just this morning. And, and Matt, we're, we're not hearing a peep from the fake news people. It, it's really interesting. There is no effort whatsoever to talk about the changing national mood. You don't see a single takeout, not a single essay, anywhere in the left-wing national media. I'm talking about the Post, the, uh, the New York Times. And that... And that mood, that spirit, I mean, it's palpable across the country. It is, and it's also impossible for those news outlets to stop what's happening spontaneously across this country, where they're losing uh, even more credibility in voices coming out of New York and Washington, and they're turning towards other places to get their information. And mm -hmm. I think it's a really positive thing that this kind of grassroots revolt that's happening around the country is the very thing that's going to encourage Republicans in Congress and Donald Trump to take the hard steps to reform taxes, to reform health care, and to make these budget decisions. And, and Paul Ryan, as I mentioned in the commentary tonight, what is wrong with the man? He is sitting there trying to put a 20% consumer tax forward as if it... It's as if these retailers aren't going out of business. Uh, yeah, this is it, not a figment of our insane. imagination. and it, it would put the nail in the coffin of, of, of brick-and-mortar retailers to do something like but this. But he and, and, and Kevin Brady, who's a fine, honorable, and knowledgeable fellow chairing the, way, the powerful Ways and Means Committee, has gone along with uh, this speaker. And to what end, Matt? Uh, it, it looks like we may be seeing uh, the end of the speaker's run uh, if he continues to buck the president. Look, I think that, the uh, Lou, when they tell us that the House and the Senate uh, and the White House are going to get on the same page with some principles, I think it means that that's the death of BAT. But uh, I think we're all happy. We'd, we'd be happier if we got there quicker. It's time to get to that agreement and get going.